everybody, and welcome to another episode of Palma John. Today, I went to the beautiful Gold Coast of Long Island, the Long Island Sound, and I finally caught my dream. I caught a striped bass, striped sea bass. Unbelievable experience. You'll see some footage from it. I've been looking to catch a fish for so long. I am actually the worst fisherman that you're ever going to know, but today I caught it. And now I want to prepare something for you. So I never really cooked anything like this before. So I said, you know what? Let me call my cousin Victor from Italy. My cousin is from the San Marino, Italy, in the beautiful Emilia Romagna region of Northern Italy, where it's the cooking capital of Italy. He told me how to prepare it, and I want to share it with you. Now, when I caught this fish, I got excited. I called up my mother, I said, Mom, come over, I caught striped sea bass, you gotta come over. And she says, no, Johnny, I'm going to Alt Avenue with Uncle Ma Natale and Aunt Joanna Gianna Maria. I said, Ma, come. She says, next time. So next time, we'll have Mama, Mama Palma John in this video. But for today, we're gonna cook this beautiful fish, freshly caught in my special oven. And if you come across here, I'll show you where we're gonna cook it. By the way, I caught this fish today with my friend Mike. Mike, what a great time. You'll see him in a video. And we're gonna cook it right in there. So get ready. I'm gonna introduce you to these fine ingredients. All right, so we're here for these beautiful ingredients. So first, I filleted the fish today, put it on ice. Beautiful, fresh, fresh striped sea bass. I have some thyme. I have some rosemary, lemon, cherry tomatoes. We're not gonna cut the cherry tomatoes. We don't want it to become a broth. We wanna keep it a little bit uh, uh, less brothy and more of the fish. And what I'm gonna have also is we have three cloves of garlic, some capers. I love the capers, John. It adds such a good ingredient. So they got that, some Kalamata olives and some Yukon potatoes and also, you know, about a half a cup of white wine. Okay, so now I'm gonna start to prepare this fine dish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pat the fish, take a little bit of the moisture away. All right, I'm gonna take just a drizzle, a little olive oil on the bottom of the pan. I like to put the olive oil on after the fish is done. Just a little bit on the bottom right now so it doesn't stick. And then we put it on, we put a nice, beautiful, beautiful olive oil, okay? So what I'm gonna do is lay the fish down. Oh no, first what we're gonna do, as per my cugino, the Italia, we're gonna lay some Yukon potatoes down. Actually, like almost like a bed for the fish so it doesn't sit directly on the pan, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put that right on top there. Lay it right down. Oh, this is gonna be great. I gotta tell you, nothing like fresh fish caught five or six hours ago, of course, kept on ice. Okay, we need to keep that fish on ice. Keep it nice and fresh. All right, there you go. Okay, all right. So now, let me put these beautiful ingredients. Follow me clearly now. Give two lemons, cut up, put it right on top. Okay, then what we're gonna do is some cherry tomatoes. We're not gonna cut the cherry tomatoes because we don't want that, that tomato juice to get in here and make this almost like a soup. So let's pour that, ah, oh, look at that, right? Now, some capers. My mother always says, Johnny, cook it with capers. Everything is tastes so good with capers. By the way, my back is burning me. So can you just back up a little bit, cameraman? All right, so now we got that right now. Look at this. We're gonna add the capers. Drizzle the capers on top. I'm dying over here. And then we have Kalamata olives, right? Beautiful Kalamata olives. Look at this. Ooh, baby. Ooh. Then, here it is. I got thyme and fresh rosemary. Rosa Maria, this is so good. Okay, now we're gonna put the rosemary on top, like this, okay. Put the rosemary, I like to just, when you, when you rub the, when you rub this, it brings out the essence, it brings out more of the flavor. Okay, put that right on top, a little bit of more oil, okay. And what we're gonna do now is take this half a cup of uh, 
of white wine. I'm gonna just put a little bit, not that much, right now. Okay, and then into the oven, into the oven for like 10 minutes or so, and then I'm gonna put aluminum foil on it so the top doesn't burn, and we'll be back for this wonderful striped sea bass. I remember two weeks ago, I was making a pizza in this oven, and this oven heats up to like 900 or 1,000 degrees. My son came out, he said, Dad, your eyelashes are off. I lost my eyelashes and my eyebrows. So now, I wear this. Huh? Is this smart or what? I protect it, protect my eyelashes and my eyebrows. We just better hope this doesn't melt on my nose. So what happens to a great chef sometimes? Sometimes a great chef forgets an ingredient. I forgot to add the gar. So let me take this out. Man, this is heavy. Look at these beautiful gloves here, right? Okay. And I'm gonna add the garlic right on top, okay? Now you see already it's starting to cook. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add a little aluminum foil on top because I don't want it to get that, I want it to burn. So I just put that right on top to protect it. Now, how I can regulate the heat with this oven is the closer I put it to the fire, right, the hotter it gets. So I'm gonna keep it right out here for a little while and then check it out and see if I can, if it needs a little bit more cooking. So right here, I'm gonna leave right in the outside of the oven because the heat right now is very intense. And since we got the pizza oven going, how about a little pizza, okay? I have beautiful San Marzano tomatoes. Now all I do, is go to Arthur Avenue, I, be, I buy the real San Marzano, right? Nothing fancy, put a little oregano in there, a little salt, a little pepper, and that's it. This is freshness, people. You don't have to go crazy. I don't cook the sauce, okay? I don't cook the sauce. The sauce cooks in the oven, a little mozzarella, okay? And this pizza should be ready in about two minutes. Put it in. All right, guess what else I have going on, people? I've got some nice zucchini in the oven. Whoops, a little salt, a little pepper, a little Parmesan cheese on top. Not ready yet, but you'll see how that comes out. Let's check out, let's check out the fish now. Ooh, oh man. Look at those colors, is that beautiful? How about a little more olive oil, right? How about that? How about, how about the rest of that wine? Whew. Okay, let me check it out a little bit. Well, still needs to be cooked more. Let's put that in probably for another 10 minutes or so. And we'll be back. Ah. Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. Nothing better, only the finest ingredients with Parmesan. <laughs> you don't have to keep staying on me. Ah, oh, that's hot. Okay, look what we got going here. Zucchini, just about done. Right, what I do, take a little fresh Parmigiana, Reggiana, and we go right on top, heavy, heavy people. We go heavy with Parmesan. Back in the oven you go. Now no cover. zucchini just about done okay look at that it'll still cook in the pan it'll still cook but what I do is put a little aluminum foil on it and I'll be ready for dinner that's not getting cold people 
All right, so uh, I know it's a lot of sweat going on over here. I'm only near a thousand degree oven, but it looks like the striped bass is done. So, Mr. Cameraman, take a look at that. We're gonna plate that. That looks beautiful. What beautiful colors. I like to always drizzle a little olive oil on top of that. Look at that. We're gonna hit, we'll hit it again later. Let me plate this dish. Let me plate this dish and we'll be back. Okay, here we are. I just plated the striped bass. You can see the, I got some tomatoes there, some olives, the beautiful color. Take a look at this cameraman. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drizzle a little olive oil on that. Remember I said olive oil at the end. Good olive oil. We don't go with the cheap stuff here. Look at these colors. Look at this. Striped sea bass, Parmesan, the Italian way. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Bon appetit.